Okay, we got interrupted, so there's going to be two clips uploaded for the same subject here. Um, we got interrupted and had to turn the camera off, so a little bit of noise when you first put these belts on these things. It's got an adjuster here. It's got an adjuster here where uh, you can adjust the, the where the belt is is uh, going to spin on this top piece. But usually, if you just hit the trigger once or twice, it'll set itself. All right, a little bit of noise. I'm going to do it in the middle here, so that way the belt kind of conforms to the edge. See some rolled edge over here. It is working, that edge is a lot better. It's rolled, but the fine belt ought to polish that up and take it off. I'm going to go over the uh, top side of the blade one more, one more time. Are you getting this at all in the video, or is my hand in the way, in, in the way I'm holding the shovel? Well, um, a few times your hand was in the way. I'm left-handed anyway, so I probably should have done this with my left hand. That's a lot better. It's still rolled a little. Usually on a knife, and I might wind up having to do it with a shovel, um, I will take whatever I'm using for a sharpener and hold it at an extreme angle and then just real lightly go over almost the cutting edge. Almost, almost, almost vertical um, to get rid of that bead. If I have to do it on the shovels, I might just use a stone because um, it won't it won't grind off as much metal as fast. And where's the lock? Okay, good enough. All right, let's switch belts. Quick shot with the trigger, make sure the belt seats. I don't know if you can see that, but it did move a little. 
Alright, now the find belt. No, I want to turn it around so you guys can see it on the camera. See how nice and shiny, hopefully, in that light that edge got. This thing's doing a nice job polishing. That took off all the burr. There's no burr on either side. It's a good edge. And it is sharp. It's nice and sharp. This is making me jealous. I need to get my old one back out of my truck and put a better edge on it. I'm getting jealous because the brand new one's got a good edge. Yeah, that's pretty darn nice. And hopefully you can see it, how shiny that edge is in a video on both sides. Yeah, I got it in got the video. It. Okay. So that's the work sharp sharpener. Um don't know if this thing would shave or not. I don't expect this kind of steel to get that sharp. Well, it, it is. It shaves. It shaves. You getting that hair? Yep. So, this is, uh, this works out real good. I'm real happy with that edge. Real happy with it. Now, of course, if you use this for what it's intended for, a shovel, the dirt, rock, whatever you're, you're, you're going to be shoveling is going to dull that edge. Um, which is kind of disappointing, kind of, you know, I don't know, counterintuitive, I guess. But if you don't use it um, for digging, well, of course, you got a good sharp edge there to use it for a hatchet, chopping, uh, weapon. You know, there is a Russian guy on YouTube somewhere. I watched four of his videos. He's got four of his videos. He's some kind of a, a Russian self-defense expert and that's all he uses in all four of his videos is one of these shovels um, I don't know if it's a Russian shovel or if it's a cold steel shovel though uh, he of course is speaking Russian and I don't understand Russian um, I watch it on my tablet so there's no option for uh, translation on a tablet like there is on a computer but if you went and searched YouTube, YouTube video you'd probably come up come up with his videos uh, you know and they're real interesting so uh, Alright guys, well thanks for watching. I said work sharp sharpener and brand new cold steel uh, special forces shovel. Turn off. Bye.